give you a brief introduction about Bhumija because a lot of people have requested that they want to know more about Bhumija, those who are attending the session for the first time. Uh, uh, can we have the Bhumija slide, uh, Anupam, the presentation? Yeah, just give us a Thank you, Sudarshan. Yes. So, uh, what is Bhumija? Bhumija has been an effort started about three, three and a half years ago uh, when we said the time has come to rebirth the earth. And a lot of people were already in this movement of reviving Desi Beach. There was uh, Beach, uh, beach Bachao Andolan. There were uh, movements around natural farming in different parts of the country. Um, and uh, uh, of course, Subhash Palekarji was doing his own movement, which is which has really caught on quite a lot. But they have been tremendous contributors in this entire thing for several years. So the time, it was almost poised at a time where people were saying now, Ha, huh, should we do it or should we not? Because look, there isn't enough of a market. If we do it, it's too expensive for the consumers. Consumers complain, we cannot afford it. So it was really, we were at the crossroads at that point of time. And that's the time uh, it caught my attention and interest. And a lot of people enter this space because somebody is ill in their family, somebody has had cancer. Somebody's had some very serious lifestyle disorder and then they've been told any organic khana chahiye aapko. In my case, I don't think that was, that is really what happened. I don't think it was uh, any of this which attracted me to it. Uh, what I felt very, very uh, seriously was that the time has come for people to become mindful about what they're eating for sure. Okay. And uh, that um, the environment definitely needs attention right from the point of not just we, we are very aware we live in cities or small cities and towns and we first talk about air pollution because that is what we feel is affecting us the most what we're not realizing is what is affecting us most is what we are taking inside us right so air pollution is also something which is going inside us through air right but what is really making us uh, uh, what should i say uh, what is affecting us in terms of real chemicals is uh, all that which is getting mixed with the food in terms of pesticides and fertilizers we are consuming on a daily basis, uh, you know, uh, morning to night. And we don't seem to be aware of it. And apart from the fact that we have habits which are, you know, completely deleterious, detrimental to our healthy living. So even more important was the fact that the soils have become so uh, dangerously <clears throat> polluted and the water along with it has become even more dangerously polluted. So everything, every, you know, part of our earthly ecosystem has become dangerously polluted. And the only thing we seem to have been talking about was air, right? Because that was the pollution, air pollution seemed to be the central focus. <coughs> so it was really time to, you know, focus back on our soils, our water systems, our, and then, and realize that they're all related to each other. Okay, so they're not unrelated. Uh, and that is Bhumija, first of all, was born with the whole idea of connecting people who are um, who are connected to farmers, growers, producers, and who are also connected to consumers. Because these are the people who, can you hear me? Is my voice clear? Yeah, ma'am. For a moment, the electricity had gone. So, uh, so we started by this whole experiment that if we can strengthen this, this, uh, this link between farmers and consumers, we would be able to create a far stronger ecosystem uh, because at one go, we would have somebody giving feedback to the farmers that this should be done, this should be done. And somebody also telling consumers, ye khana chahiye, aisa khana chahiye. So we said this, this part is very important. So while people kept talking about that middle people need to be removed, we said, no, we need the right kind of middle people to be there. And these middle people sometimes can be farmers themselves. Okay. So which means they can play the role of connecting to consumers also. And more and more of them can actually be trained to be connected to the consumers with the right kind of capacity building. So, um, so both, we would say um, the farmers themselves or people in the middle, some, many of them are women, many of them are youth today, 
who are playing this very critical role, right? The good thing about the whole organic or natural ecosystem is that it has been able to disrupt the, um, the uh, other system which existed through Mondays and all of that. And there has been all this, uh, you know, the several uh, middle people who, you know, were acting in the, in the conventional ecosystem seem to have uh, slowly been, you know, we are seeing them decreasing to, some, to an extent. Step by step, I would say that, okay? Uh, not entirely, and uh, it cannot happen entirely also. So coming back to, um, uh, you know, uh, the birth of Bhumija was all about rebirthing the earth and, and actually using this wonderful link to ensure that, the, that there's a good, strong, ethical, um, um, a bridge between the farmers and the consumers, okay? And it becomes affordable to consumers. Consumers become more aware of what they are eating and they're able to get access to the best, right? So this is basically now slowly we are moving towards creating an association of organic agripreneurs, uh, which uh, will ensure that a uh, lot of these agripreneurs can interact with each other, learn from each other, transact with each other in the in a most transparent transparent and best possible way. Let's move forward. Next. Yeah, so this is all in the context of the of agriculture in, in India. And I think while this these slides are made right in the middle of COVID uh, and this economic survey report uh, probably came in a little before that, uh, the fact is a, a slew of uh, agriculture reforms have been uh, have been thrown up at us to the government. Suddenly, agriculture, everybody is realizing how important agriculture is because the first week when this hit us on 23rd of March, many of us didn't know where to get our food from, right? And then you suddenly realize, oh my God, this most neglected se sector is really the most important because you might have everything with you. You might have cars, you might have the best of things, but if you don't have food to eat, then you are really in trouble. Go ahead, let's move forward. I'm not going to spend time in giving you a technical lecture at all. This is not my intention, let's go forward. We definitely know that agriculture forms a very, very important part of our, um, uh, you know, uh, of India's um, economy. Um, yeah, let's go forward. Let's continue moving forward. Yeah. And we will not discuss this because I want to come into the session very quickly. There are many, many uh, steps the government has made this time, uh, taken this time. Um, yeah, so the Bhumija vision is what, Anupam, the previous slide. Yeah, so what is Bhumija's vision? Bhumija's vision is to make India a global leader in naturally grown food and healthy living. Okay, so we really feel that we have made, we have to, we have to make this contribution. Next not just in India, not just for the domestic market, but I believe that India can be a very uh, a beacon uh, for the international global market, not just commercially, but even non-commercially. We can really show the way because the range of foods which we have, the varieties which we have, the soils and the agroclimatic zones which we have, uh, the, the knowledge, the ancient knowledge which we have connected to nutrition, I don't think anywhere it is so deep in the, across the world. So I see this as a very big opportunity. What Bhumija wants to do by 2030 is to create one lakh small to medium organic food preneurs across India, raise awareness of organic healthy food in 15 cities of India and demand thereby by, of course, all cities of India, but with a big focus on 15 cities and demand uh, by 10x. And this is, of course, the local, we, we talk, we, before this thing about going vocal with local, we actually started this process already. Increase incomes of farmers through this by minimum 3x. 10 states should adopt, we believe the 10 states should adopt natural, uh, natural farming and remain, and the remaining states should have be at least 20% natural cultivation. Uh, increase usage of uh, desi seeds by almost 100x and promote gao based rural economy with food forests and agro-tourism. Next. 
We also believe that we should be advocating nutrition per acre to replace yield per acre because every time people talk about organic, they say, oh, yield come ho jata hai, to hum kyun ho gaye? Uh, the, the important thing is about value which your food is giving and not so much about the production quantity. So nutrition per acre to replace yield per acre, support biodiversity of minimum, uh, you know, 100 um, uh, cultivated varieties. So I think there is uh, some mistake here. So we, we are looking at certain uh, number and X number of uh, varieties which we want to support. Foster knowledge on uh, healthy food processing skills to increase shelf life and reduce spoilage. Uh, build a top quality value chain for all stakeholders to facilitate knowledge and transactions in a B2B platform. And build a sustainable and significant market demand and supply chain of natural, diverse, traditional healthy foods locally and globally. Go ahead. So what, what are our five values? Responsible growth, cooperation, nutrition for all, trust among all, and access to knowledge. Yes, next. So um, I'm going to, uh, we are going to move forward from here. Uh, you can just run through these slides quickly now, Anupa, one by one. I'll stop where I tell you to stop here. So we can move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Yeah, we can stop before this. Yeah. Before this. Before this. Yeah. So what we have done is uh, while we, as Bhumija, we uh, actually work in you know creating this agripreneur uh, and farmer linkage very strongly. We create the agripreneur. Uh, to consumer link through living without medicine communities. So uh, we've created this in uh, different cities, tier one and tier uh, two cities of India, with the whole idea that communities come together, they become more aware of what is healthy eating, uh, they un get, understand how to access, they get to know how to access good food, organic, traditional food. Uh, they also get access to natural remedies, uh, naturopaths, Ayurvedes who understand ancient sciences and who are very focused on food as nutrition. Go ahead, next. Yeah, so these have formed very good B2C market linkages. Next. These are some of the programs we have held uh, on the International Women's Week. We actually did many programs on lifestyle disorders and how food as nutrition can really play a very important role. Uh, uh, we, yeah, please next. Yeah, so we've actually done that and we've also now uh, experimented farm to kitchen models uh, whereby we've actually supported farmers and experimented how it can be a very sustainable model, looking at farmers, connecting them to consumers and seeing how the, uh, the whole value chain uh, is, is supported um, you know, by every single stakeholder in this. So it requires a lot and lot of quality effort, uh, but I think it is possible and these experiments have or, and models have really been uh, happening across India. Uh, Parna will also touch upon them because she herself has been one of uh, one of these, uh, uh, you know, players in this. So uh, um, we will talk about this. If you have questions around this, I'll be happy to share it next. Yeah, the one very important role which we want to play and we continue to play is mentoring. Uh, you know, enhancing the skills and capabilities of. Uh, Agripreneurs, so it's not just about uh, you know giving them markets or um, giving them uh, opportunities. It's also not just about uh, uh, you know making them allowing them to kind of in, uh, transact with each other, but it is clearly about enhancing their capability. So we are doing our best to see how we can provide mentoring uh, across the across the scale. Yeah, next. B2B exchange is one of the things which we have been proposing to, uh, uh, this is a technology based exchange where people, uh, the sellers or organic sellers can transact with each other. So this is in the development phase. Next. Uh, one very important thing which we are planning to uh, announce uh, with our uh, association is the verification process. There are many people who do not trust organic. There are many people, and it's a fact that uh, today there are many players in the organic market who are not doing trustworthy things. 
so uh, some of this is justified uh, some of the lack of trust is justified but not all of it so there we don't want um, uh, some small players you know few players to uh, play the role of uh, making people distrust the entire ecosystem so we've started this process we are launching the process of bhumija verification which is ensuring that whoever becomes a member uh, with bhumija is verified properly and they uh, they adhere to some of the best practices ethical practices in uh, in uh, procuring and selling of organic products next next yeah i think we can close it next yeah this is not relevant next next yeah i think we can close this so with this i want to uh, close on um, uh, my presentation about bhumija that what bhumija is all about a very major part of our work is as i said about capacity building and uh, uh, the other very major part is about consumer awareness so we are trying to link these two and to see whether we can grow the entire ecosystem so when we come into uh, this whole field of natural farming um, uh, which was not the original plan so to speak it happened because we felt that there were a large number of people who wanted to enter into this space but who did not understand the basics except from what they had learned from a few people or read on google or uh, you know from third or fourth or fifth people and they have not really entered into the natural not really uh, what should i say um, establish themselves in the knowledge right so i felt that even before they start selling an end you know getting into organic taking decisions of selling organic or even farming in organic uh, so to speak they must understand what are the principles they must really understand what are they doing why are they doing it what is the whole value of creating a natural ecosystem right the second thing which we also felt was very important is that many people are confused between many um, uh, you know terms like what is organic what is natural um, are these interchangeable is it the same or not same 